Hey, it's your girl Yana. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a product review from the Do's new collection called B Girl. And this is the product. It is their Honey Curl Custard. And this is what it's looking like. This is consistency. I was trying to show y'all more of the consistency, but it was going to fall out the jar. But anyways, we're starting off with freshly washed hair. I did part my hair in four sections and working in subsections. And then I'm going to re-wet my hair some more because I do have low porosity hair. And I'm using warm water. That is key with styling with low porosity hair. Use warm water. Now I'm just applying from roots to end. And here I was just like, the slip is crazy. I don't have nothing else in my hair. The only thing I'm applying is this product. That is it. And this is what it's looking like. Like, it's looking gorgeous. I think this product really saved me time and energy. I feel like it's more because how the slip was, how the product saturated my strands really quickly. I just absolutely love this product so far. The only thing I can say, it don't really have a smell, but that's a good thing. It don't really have a smell. It just smells like ingredients, if that makes sense. It just smells like what they put in. And it kind of reminds me of a gel. You're probably like, but it says a custard. I thought it was going to be a custard, but how it clumps my curls, how the hold is, it really reminds me of gel, and it really reminds me of wet line, if we're being exact. On the packaging, it says it hydrates, protects, and defines even the tightest curls with no crunch or flaky residue. Um, I would like them to change the statement from no crunch to a whole lot of crunch. When I say this product has... A lot of crunch i'm talking about is stronger than wet line if y'all know what wet line is like wet line extreme gel and if you use it you would know it have a crunch but this this is this is way stronger than wet line i'm gonna just say that now it's way stronger than wet line which i'm not complaining I, I love a good crunch because i know if i have that crunch that wash and go is gonna last me like a week or two yes a week or two if you take care of it but um back to this product it advertised as a custard but it operates like a gel so go about with that information if you please if you don't believe how strong this crunch is you can give it a try i'm just telling you now when i say it's crunchy it's crunchy but to break the crunch all you gotta do is like you know use oil to break that crunch fluff it out some more do as you please however you break your gel cast or whatever you just do the same thing with this product when i tell you it clumped and curled every strand on my head the section that i'm working on now i have the most trouble with it clumping and curling i have no idea why i have no heat damage or nothing it's just naturally how that part of my hair is or section is the fact that it got it the way i wanted to i was like oh this is gonna be my new favorite this is gonna be my new favorite and when i say every strand i'm telling you my baby hair started curling i was like oh i didn't even know my baby hairs can do this like what are you doing what y'all doing y'all over here doing but look how it's looking this is half my head and then this is my head completely done but one section is like, you know, already kind of air dry. That's why you see like the height difference. And I'm using my diffuser to dry. It says either use a diffuser or sit under the dryer. I went ahead and used my diffuser. So when I use the diffuser, I hover over my hair strands and I go to the direction I applied the product. So from roots to ends and I keep the diffuser facing downwards. I don't do what everybody do, which is take the diffuser and pretty much dry the ends and clump it up you're literally creating frizz because all you're doing is pushing that heat up and making it frizzy i don't really necessarily like that i would like a more defined puffy look so that's why i'm doing what i'm doing and you will see here and there i will put the diffuser against my hair but my hand will be on the other side that is to make sure if the diffuser gets too hot on my hand that means move it from that section is getting too hot and that's my little tip for like using heat when I diffuse. So I'm gonna just keep repeating the process and kind of shaking my hair out to fluff it up just a tad bit more, give it some volume. And here is what it's looking like after, just straight after, before I even try to fluff it out some more and create some shape. 
and this is the finished product after i create the shape i kind of want fluffed it out and broke that crunch hopefully you like this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and hopefully i can see you in my next videos bye